Hello everyone, it's James from Divine Crochet. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking you through how to make this shrub. Um, I decided to make it quite tight fitting, but obviously this is up to you. I'll talk you through how to customise this piece to the size that you want it to be. Before we get onto the video, make sure that you're subscribed, uh, like the video if you enjoy it, and check me out on TikTok, Instagram, and Etsy, all at Divine Crochet. Uh, but yeah, we'll get on with the tutorial now. Right, it's voiceover James talking and for today's video we're going to use Aran yarn. I got this yarn from my grandma, but any Aran yarn will do. And then I'm going to use a 6mm hook, some scissors and a needle just to sew in the ends at the end. I'm going to start my work off with a slip knot and we're going to start by chaining uh, to the circumference of the shrug that we would like. So how we're going to create this shrug is it's just going to be one long cylinder that we're going to add in a space for your body and your head. So this pattern is going to be no sew and it's very beginner friendly because we're just going to be using chains, single, double and triple crochet. So I decided on chaining 30. Uh, you can just chain the amount that you want as long as it's an even number. And bear in mind that we're not going to be adding or subtracting from this cylinder. So this circumference should be able to fit around the top of your arms. So once I've done those 30 chains, I will do an extra chain as a turning chain before skipping that turning chain and doing 30 single crochets back down that line. So as I say, we're actually going to work into a cylinder, but I don't attach my project on the chain length just because I find for me it will always get tangled no matter what tips and tricks I use. So how I combat this is I'll attach this piece together once I've finished this row of single crochets. So once I have done those 30 stitches or however many stitches you've decided to include, I'm going to slip stitch into that first single crochet. So what I'll do later on to attach the chain row is I'll just get that end at the bottom when I'm sewing in ends and I'll tie a knot to the last stitch that I made. So for the next row I've slip stitched in and from that stitch that I have slip stitched into I'll chain two. I will then turn my work and then working in the opposite direction that we were working in the row before I am going to start building up the row of double crochets. So I just put one double crochet into each single crochet and in this pattern a chain two is going to count as a double crochet so we'll be doing chain two and then 29 double crochets or one less double crochet than you had single crochets so once you have finished all of your stitches you're going to slip stitch into that second chain that you made at the start of the row and then you will turn your work over and our next row is going to be of single crochets and you want to put your first single crochet into all that area that you just slip stitched into before then moving on to your next double crochet that you're going to put your stitch on top of. So in this row you should have a total of 30 single crochets or the amount that you chained at the start. After doing your final single crochet you're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that you made in that row. So just like this. And then from that stitch to start our next row, we are going to chain four. And in this row, this is a row that we're going to create that mesh stitch and we're going to be using triple crochets. So a triple crochet is just a double crochet, but you yarn over a second time before putting your hook in. So after chaining four, we're going to skip one stitch and in that second stitch put a triple crochet and then we're going to chain one, do the same. So we'll chain one, skip one, triple crochet, chain one, skip one, triple crochet. So this means because I have 30 stitches in total, I will have... 15 triple crochets in total where that chain three that we did at the start is going to count as our triple crochet 
and I will have 15 chain stitches in total. But obviously, technically, I've got 18 chain stitches because of the three that counts as a triple crochet at the start. But we're just going to do this all the way around our work. And once we reach the end of our row, we'll do our final triple crochet, chain one. And then we're going to insert our hook into that third chain we made. So it should look like you've got a triple crochet and a chain one at the start of your row. So you put your hook in and then you're going to slip stitch. And just as with our double crochet row, we're going to turn our work and our next stitch is going to be single crochet. And our first single crochet is going to be into that stitch that we put our slip stitch into. And once you finish this row, you'll slip stitch into that first single crochet that you made before going into that double crochet row that we did before. And we're just going to repeat this pattern of doing a single crochet row, a double crochet row, a single crochet row, and then the treble crochet row that I showed you earlier. And this is going to be the pattern that I repeat all the way through the um, pattern. So if you have to go back and repeat this tutorial a few times just to get the hang of the stitches, that's fine. But make sure that you're used to doing these stitches and make sure that the first single crochets that you do is always in the same stitch that you slip stitched into before. And as I said earlier, this shrug is customizable so you just want to continue this pattern up until you reach where you want to start adding a space for your body so for me i just kept on trying this on uh, and pulling it up to where my armpit was just to see how many rows i wanted to add uh, bear in mind the shrug that i'm making on purpose i'm making it quite long so i'm adding quite a few rows I added 10 repeats of the pattern and also added another row of double crochets and I was happy with this length. So I'm going to show you how I add the body. So instead of doing the final chain one, triple crochet, chain one, I'm actually just going to go back into that row and start with my next row of single crochets and make sure to end this row by doing two double no sorry not double single crochets into those chain stitches to emulate what that triple crochet would look like uh, and as you can see I'm chaining two and I'm going to carry on with my row of double crochets and we're just going to repeat this pattern um, until we're happy with the length so now I'm going to add my head hole after 12 rows. So I tried this on and it's about time for me to add a uh, space for my head to go through. So what I'm doing is I had 13 of these kind of like mesh holes in total. And I'm going to split this up into six on each side. So you just want to get your panel and basically split it in half and leave some room in between so i just skipped one stitch in the middle and i'll be using 13 stitches either side of this one stitch if i had 29 stitches in my row then what i would have to do is i would have to split my project up into 13 stitches either side and then three stitches in the middle that I skip. So you'll either be skipping one or three stitches and this will make sure that the mesh stitch sits on top of each other nicely so the pattern repeat looks nice. And I'm gonna build up this pattern till I have my desired length, but I'm gonna leave off my final row. And your final row should be exactly the same as the row that you started off this panel with. And once you've done this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a slip knot, pull that through and start with a chain two and continue that pattern, making sure you're starting from inside your work, working outwards. And once you've mirrored the exact same number of rows, what we're going to do is we're going to finish off this second panel by cutting our yarn and pulling the string through and we're going to carry on working from that first panel that we made so this is how i attach the string so i just do a normal single knot from each of the start of the string that i want to attach i'll then pull this together and then i'm going to trim these two ends 
as I say, we skipped that final row that we need to do, which is the first row of this panel, which was a triple crochet chain one. And because I missed out one stitch, I need to put that back in to finish off this head hole. So I'll chain one before then putting my next triple crochet on my other panel. Remember if you skipped more than one stitch, so if you skipped three stitches to make this collar, what you want to do is you want to chain those three stitches. And once you've attached your work, you can just carry on down this row, continuing the pattern. And what you want to do is you want to mirror the exact same rows that you had um, on the other side before you then go to attach your project again. So for me, this was those 12 rows I did before adding my collar. So we're now gonna make the sleeves. So to mirror the three stitches that we got rid of last time, I'm going to chain three before slip stitching into that third chain that I made at the start of my triple crochet row. And yet again, you should be ending this kind of like shoulder body part with the same stitch um, or row that you started it with. So as you can see, I'm slip stitching into that third chain and then I'm gonna carry on with my single crochet row. So with both this and where we attached the panels together to make the collar, you want to double check that you have the same number of stitches in your round as you did when you did it on the other side, just to make sure it's symmetrical. And from here, we'll do the exact same panel pattern that we've been doing all the way down and we'll mirror the amount of rows that we do. And once we have done that, your project should be finished. Uh, so as you normally would, slip stitch into the first stitch that you did in that row before trimming your end and pulling it through. And that is your shrug done. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment and subscribe. And check me out on my other social medias. I've got a TikTok, an Instagram and an Etsy, all at Divine Crochet. I hope you have a good day and I will see you later. Goodbye.